So what's the difference between a trend and a man or woman? What's the difference between a trend or a man or woman? The difference between a trend is because they are not biological person. They were surgerized. So they are a person that are imitation. A person that been fixed on a table. So a lady or a man that's born a man is a man. A woman that's born a woman is a woman. But a transgender is a person that is not biological. So if you are a person that's been born on a table and you're a man, you cannot produce sperm. And if you're a woman been born on a table, you cannot produce children. So the difference between a tran and a lady is that a tran, they are imitation, they are fake, they are phony, they are uh, like, a, like an AI, they are like uh, artificial assimilation. And I'm telling you, my friend, we got to ask people for the birth certificate. We got to have the spirit of discernment. If you are watching this video and you're about to get married, make sure the person you are marrying is a biological man or biological woman. Because if not, my friend, you will marry you a woman that can produce children. You will, you will marry a man that can, cannot produce a, a sperm to fertilize the egg. And that's the mistake that we're making in this world, my friend. And if you don't have a spirit of discernment, you're going to marry you a monster. You're going to marry you a person that is artificial. You're going to marry a person that is genderless. Because if there was, if you went on the, if you went on the table, on a surgery table, and all of a sudden you come out being another sex, that means that you were not the sex that you was born with. You were on a table and they made you, if you're a man, they made you a woman, that means that you are transgender. Come on now. And you cannot, if you are a man, you cannot produce sperm. So a transgender woman or a transgender men are not called men or lady. They either call by their name or they call tranny. Hey, glory to God. And you being, you try to be respectful. If they don't tell you their name, you cannot call them sir. You can't, can't call them man. Because if you call them a man or a woman, you are lying to them because they, would, they are not a man and they are not a woman. They're called, they are tranny. And we must, we must be, be bold as soldier uh, because the people been lying to people and if you are an individual that gonna get married make sure the person you are married is bi biological amen because the person cannot fulfill your need because they are not biological person my friend we gotta we gotta be very careful because we live in a world where people are fake People are not authentic. People are not genuine. They are artificial assimilation. And I tell individual, my friend, you got to be have the spirit of discernment. You got to know for sure this person is what they say they are. And you got to have the spirit of discernment to know that they are not what they say they are. So the difference between a, a transgender and a regular person is one is was born was reconstructed on a table and one is biological so the biological is it was born a man and a person that went on the table there was a woman but they transformed into a man and then they are I call them artificial assimilation so i'm making this video to know that how you do how do you how do you I, how can you tell a person is uh been born on a table a woman have physique men don't have physique 
the, the, the table cannot produce physique because physique is natural. Physique was made by God. See, God made women to have physique and men does not have physique in the table. The surgery cannot make a, a man to have physique because they're, they're not God. Doctors are not God. So if a doctor predict you to live six months, my friend, it, it, it depends on God. God can make you live as long as you can live because God is God. A doctor is not God. See, God can do miraculous miracle. Amen. But the subject of uh, what's the difference between a trinity and a biological woman? Amen. One is uh, was born on a table, and the other was born was born by God. And that's why I tell people: if you are a person that say you was born in the wrong body, God can make you born again. God can transform your life into a life. That God wants you to have. See, David said, I was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. And the Bible said, He glory to God. There was a man that was sent from man was born, sent from God when they were Nicodemus. And he said, Rabbi, we know that thou teaching come from God. Can no man can do this miracle that thou doest that God was in. But but Jesus Christ said, You must be born again. You can be born again. John 3, 3 and 3, 5. Amen. So if you're watching this video. And so Nicodemus was a ruler and he came with Jesus Christ by night because he wanted to be born again. If you think you was born into the wrong body, don't get surgery. Get the, get the born again experience. And, and Jesus Christ told Nicodemus, Nicodemus said, how can a man be born? Shall he enter the second time in his mother's womb and be born? Jesus Christ said, Jesus said, verily for us, he said, but man be born of the water and born of the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And in, in John 3, verse 7, say, you must be born again. The wind blow it where it listed, thou hear the sound thereof, but can't tell where it's going or where it's coming. So it's everyone that is born of the spirit. So if you think it was born of the spirit, you can be born again. God can transform your mind. God can transform your spirit. God can, can transform your body, my friend. I'm not saying that God won't give you a new body, but God can give you, uh, uh, God can regulate your mind. Because all in your mind, if you think that you were born into the wrong body, it's all in your mind. See, the devil playing tricks on you. Yes, I say the devil is playing tricks. Don't let the devil trick you. To get to mess your whole body up, look like a monster. It's not cute. Listen, it's not cute. If if you if you going to transform your body, hey, you was a man, now you're a woman. Hey, you're a woman, look like a man. Listen, you are a monster because God is God. God is the only one that can do this. And if God gave you life. You are transforming life the way you, you think your life should be. If it is, you are a monster. Hey Amen. Trannies are monsters. If you are transgender, you are a monster. I don't care how cute you look. I don't care that do it to the T. You're still a monster. Because if God ain't made, if God made you a man and all of a sudden you train, you change your sex to a female and now you're a trans female, you are a monster. Amen. Come on. If you are a woman and now you're a man, your mind is still a woman. And if you was a man and now you're a woman, your mind is still a man. Because you can't surgerize your mind. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You might surgerize your body, but you can't surgerize your spirit. You can't surgerize your soul. So you might as well pray to God and let God move the confusion. Cause it's all it is. It is confusion. If you say that you was born in the wrong body, it's a confusion. The devil is whispered in your mind. The devil is twisting your mind. The devil making it's like it's like how the devil told Eve, "You shall not surely die." 
Satan told Eve, you will not, if you pick this fruit, you will be like God's knowing good and evil. Just like being a transgender. The devil said, if you get the surgery, you'll be like a woman. A lie. You will not be a woman. Because guess what? You can't produce children. Come on. You cannot produce children. If you was a woman, now you're a man. You don't have no sperm. You still have ovary. Amen. So the best thing to do, my friend, go to God before you trans, before you have a surgery. Go to God before you have a transformer, trans, transformation. God still answer prayer. Amen. If you're confused about your sex, God still answer prayer. God is a answer praying God. But the only way you'll answer your prayer if you do his will and worship him. Because uh, uh, what John 9, 31, God heard not sinners. But if any man do the will and worship him, he heareth you. The Bible says if you're, if you're God and nicotine in your heart, God will not hear you. So I'm telling you, if you want God to fix your problem, don't do it on a, on a table. Do it on your knees. And God will supply your every need. God still answering prayer. David said, have mercy upon me, O Lord. According to 11 kindness, according to 10 mercy, blot out my transgression. God still answering prayer. 2 Chronicles 7.14 If my people, which are called my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn for ways, then will I hear from heaven, and forgive their sins, and heal the land. God still answering prayer. He's a prayer answering God. So stop going to surgery. Stop taking block hormones pills. Because you're going to make yourself a monster. You might be, you might get your desires, your lustful desire, but you're going to be a monster. Every transgender are monsters. Amen. Amen. Every transgender, they are monsters. Amen. So if you if you want to be in God's will, God's term. You got to do God's will. Because, my friend, you want to stand before God being a transgender, you're going straight to hell. If you if you was born a man, now you're a woman and stand before God, God going to say, puff me. He going to say, you damn. Yes, he going to say that. He going to say, you damn. So, you might as well go to God and ask God, God, bless my mind. God, I'm confusing my mind. Bless my mind. And God will bless you. But don't go do surgery. Don't do it.